Northeast Wave Shots. This is Angel with today's evening bulletin of an hour. Let's begin with international news. Lebanon nurse photo with babies went viral. A nurse in Beirut, Lebanon was photographed holding three newborn babies. This was the scene after explosion in Beirut, Lebanon that took on Tuesday. The nurse who saved the baby was calm despite the situation, the photographer said. Moving on to national news. India has increased the number of COVID-19 testing labs. Indians now anywhere can access a lab within three hours travel time. Health Minister Harsh Pradhan said. He also added that India has 1,370 COVID-19 labs now. Prime Minister office provided help for fire victims in Ahmedabad. Through Prime Minister's National Relief Fund, an ex gratia of rupee 2 lakhs has been provided to the Ahmedabad Sherry Hospital fire victim and the families. 12-year-old girl's rapist was arrested in Delhi. The Delhi police arrested the man who was involved in sexually assaulting the 12-year-old girl. The incident which took place in Delhi's Pashchim Vihar area when the girl was alone in her room. The girl was brutally stabbed with scissors. She is admitted to Ames Hospital now. National Handloom Day was organized by Ministry of Textiles on a virtual platform. Sixth annual National Handloom Day was celebrated virtually avoiding the gathering amidst the coronavirus pandemic. The event was attended by the Union Textiles Minister Smriti Irani as chief guest, Secretary Textile Ravi Kapoor as guest of honor, Himachal Pradesh Chief Minister Jai Ram Thakur also joined virtually. India's COVID-19 recovery rate climbs to 67.62%, case fatality rate at 2.07%. The Union Health Ministry said on Thursday that the total recoveries of COVID-19 patients have jumped to 13 lakh 28,336 with 46,121 patients being discharged in the last 24 hours. Honorable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi delivered the inaugural address at the conclave on transformational reforms in higher education under national education policy today. Every student should get an opportunity to follow their passion. They can pursue any degree or course and can live according to their convenience and requirement without any loss of credits, he said and has urged everyone to work for the implementation of the same. 70% COVID-19 related deaths in Bengal has been reported due to delayed admission in hospitals. The Chief Secretary of West Bengal, Rajiv Singh, has said that nearly 70% of the COVID-19 related deaths in West Bengal took place because of patients were delayed in reaching the hospital. Over 67 persons are believed to be trapped in the landslide at Petimudi. As per the report, Five persons have been killed and 67 are trapped under debris after a major landslide swept through a plantation workers' encampment in Iduki district in Kerala on this morning. Moving on to Northeast State News. Within 24 hours, 29 security personnel were tested COVID-19 positive out of total 33 cases. A health department official said on Thursday the 33 new COVID-19 cases were reported in Mizoram out of which 28 were from Ajwal, 2 from Champal and 1 from Lugli, Kolasip and Saitwal. Mizoram has 251 active cases of COVID-19 patients while 286 have recovered. The entire state of Manipur, which was under complete lockdown from 30th July to 6th of August to contain the spread of the deadly virus, has now extended for another 9 days till August 15. Tripura government has launched a student helpline call center in the education department in Agartala to counsel students from class 10 to 12 on issues related to academics and depression from teachers, psychologists and doctors. The education minister Ratan Lal Nath said, we have launched a call center recently keeping in mind to help the students. Traditional prayer was performed on the auspicious occasion of Tendong Lorumfat by the Bungtings at Namchi, South Sikkim. Advisor RMRT Mr. S. J. Lepcha informed that Tendong Lorumfat, the oldest festival of Lepcha community, will be celebrated in a very small scale this year keeping in views of the norms laid by Sikkim government due to the ongoing pandemic. A 20-year-old pregnant woman from Nona district in Manipur died along with her unborn child on Thursday after two government 
run hospitals and three private facilities, total five hospitals, refused to admit her. Due to the rise of the COVID-19 cases among armed forces in the state, Nagaland on Thursday restricted the entry of security forces personnel into the state from outside till September 2020. Sikkim's COVID cases as on 7th of August 2020, we have 25 new cases, out of which 19 are from South, 6 from East. 447 active cases, 406 recovered cases. There is total one death and 854 cumulative cases. With this, we come to an end of today's headlines. Please follow and like our page. Find us in YouTube, Instagram and Twitter. I hope to see you really soon. Until then, stay updated daily with Northeast Wave Shots. Thank you.